I'm News for Jackson Chief Meteorologist David Heckard. No doubt about it, it's been a very active and unsettled week of weather. We've been dealing with round after round after round of strong to severe thunderstorms. Maybe saying to yourself, this seems a bit odd for the month of June. It's not just odd, it is exceptionally odd, and it's all courtesy of what's going on up towards our north, actually. This area right here, kind of hugging the portions of Ontario and the northeast United States, that is an area of an upper level low. It is very odd to see an upper level low develop in the month of June in this corridor. And this is a very strong upper level low. In fact, it's really controlling much of the weather across the eastern United States. So why do we care? Well, what that has done is it has shifted the jet stream dramatically. Normally this time of year, the jet stream does something like this across the country. And that's what opens the door for the real warmth to build in across parts of the southeast United States. This year, because this low pressure isn't developed, it, be, it begins to build what's called a trough, especially across our area, and that forces the jet stream to move across our area, which is why we almost have this very active weather pattern. In addition to all of this, now that it's summertime, we end up with these little disturbances in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere that kind of run right along the jet stream on these train tracks. These are called short waves. Short waves are very, very difficult to time out, which is why the forecast models have had such a horrendous job of dealing with the weather the last couple of days. And short waves, because they're in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere, they're not necessarily primed by what's going on during the daytime hours. In fact, short waves can be just as strong at night as they can be, say, two, three in the afternoon. And that has been very different than what we normally see in the month of June, when typically the worst of the storms are in the afternoon and early evening hours. So the next question is, how long is this active weather pattern going to last? And the answer is, it's going to go on for a while. We definitely think heading into the weekend and the early part of next week, we're still going to be in this weather pattern. Now, the storms may not be as strong, but we're still going to be dealing with round after round of this activity. And some of this could come through in the early morning hours. Some of this activity could come through late at night. It does look like as we move into the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time period, that's when things begin to change. We'll begin to see our upper level low kind of weaken and move away. And these rain chances you see here, that's going to be more of what we call the diurnal, diurnally driven cycle, which is mainly going to be based on the sea breeze activity, which means the bulk of the action will be more typical afternoon and early evening. So no doubt about it, a very active and unsettled weather pattern. That's going to continue heading into the weekend, early part of next week, all courtesy of an upper level low sitting thousands of miles to our north. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Heckard for Channel 4, the local station.